friends welcome to channel creative art my name is Dilma and today we are going to make this beautiful lantern this was a very simple glass which we have decorated using few colors and liners I'll show you the whole design and the look of it how beautiful it looks and it looks much more beautiful when you light a candle or the lantern because the lantern will reflect all the beautiful colors which we have done on this art piece the lotus are especially yellow because the light reflected through the yellow light looks really very beautiful so please do give it a try make it at your home and decorate your home as you want to style it all the materials required to make this beautiful art piece are mentioned in the description box below with their links from where you can also buy the materials online and to get the images of this beautiful lantern please click on the link www.creativearthome.com which is also my website and please do watch the whole video to make it yourself and do not forget to subscribe my channel friends for more creative art painting videos so enjoy painting friends here friends first of all i list out all the materials which we are going to require for this diy first of all we'll be requiring different shades of glass here i'm showing you two glass pots this is a small glass pot and this is a big fish bowl this is a glass chimney and this is a glass shade i'm going to design all this in different videos and for coloring we are going to use favorite glass colors which are water based and available in 10 shades water based colors do get dried up quickly and these are best for the beginners and if you want your things to be permanent do use Camelon glass color which are solvent based it takes time to get dried up but these are quite permanent okay so these are the difference between water based and solvent based colors and for lining we are going to use 261 metallic gold camelon glass liner and before starting any of the designing part we'll clean our glass things using clean mate okay we have to simply spray this clean mate on our glass in this way spread it out now using a napkin i'll wipe it in a very good way so that there are no stains or no dirt on it before we'll start designing in the same way i'm going to do the same thing with all the chimneys and the fish pots so that they are very clean and ready for use okay so let's start now we are also going to need a glass liner this is apsara glass marking white okay this is best to use on leather or any metal or glass you can, you can also make lines on glass or design on glass and after that use the liner i'm going to use a graph paper for perfect measurements on this glass utensils okay so let's start friends we are going to make design on this chimney first i'll directly use my liner to make design if you're not experienced Please do draw your design using the glass marking pencil from Apsara and after that you can use 261 metallic gold canvas glass liner to make designs. I'm going to make your lotus. Okay, in the same way, I'm going to make many lotus on all the glass and I'll show you how does it looks. okay? Here yeah, friends, this is how our design looks when it has got completed and I have kept it to dry for at least 24 hours so that the coloring part would be easy. You can use any solvent based color or water based color for coloring it. I'm going to use fibrinal glass colors which are water based and available in 10 shades. Okay, so let's start now. First of all, I'm going to color the lotus using yellow color and you have to wait till the drop comes out the first drop so that there is no bubble while you're coloring i'm going to color all the lotus as yellow you can also choose a red or pink as favored by you okay here my lotus coloring is completed so i'll dry it using a dryer
So here it is dried up now. Now I'll color the second lotus and in the same way I'll keep coloring lotus one by one. Okay, so coloring the lotus part is completed and this is how it looks. If you are satisfied with this look, you can keep it in this way itself. But if you're not, so I'm going to color it a lot because I'm going to color the whole parts. I'll let this get dry for at least more 15 minutes and then we'll start the next parts, okay? Now I'm going to use the crystal green color to color the branches. Then I'll immediately dry it using dryer. Difference in the small spiral, we are going to color it use, using golden yellow, only the smaller spirals. Okay, so from any of the side from bottom, we'll start coloring using any random color and then mix it with the other matching color. For example, I'm taking red over here. I'll mix it red with pink. Using some more red over here and covering this part up. So now with pink, I'll be mixing purple. Now as the colors are mixed up, I'll quickly dry it. So here now, I'm using purple and I'm going to combine purple with ultramine blue. If you get difficulty in coloring big parts, just color the small parts and just keep on continuing in one scale itself. And after ultramine blue, I'm going to use sea blue color and mix it. So now I'm going to add here only some purple and a little bit of ultramarine blue and then using sky blue color I'm going to mix all this three colors. Okay and now immediately I'll dry it using dryer. Now here you can see there are variant shades. So I'll now use sky blue, sea blue, sea blue in this part and this part and use crystal green mixing it with sea blue, okay? And now using a dryer, we'll dry it up. If it is required, add some more colors. So 
so friends here you can see that i have shown you all the color combinations red and pink pink with purple purple with ultramine blue ultramine blue with blue and purple with blue or sea blue with green sea blue with pink you can also make the combination sea blue with pink so in the same way i'll color the whole lamp and i'll show you how does it looks okay and on the top of it we are going to make this kind of designs and we are going to leave the bottom part simple okay now i'm going to use a silver liner to create some designs So here friends, using a silver liner, I have done the designing part and using the golden liner, I have done once again the lining part of the lotus and rest of the designing part. So the designs would look more brighter and I have kept this whole lamp to get dry for at least one day. And after that, I have done the lining part once again. And this is how it looks when it has got completed and dried up completely and to get this design and lining part i'll keep it again for 15 hours and then it will be absolutely ready for use okay here friends now you can see that our designing part is finally completed i have done the golden lining once again so that our design looks much more beautiful and clear after coloring i have kept this glass piece for at least 24 hours to get dried up completely and only after that i have made the linings once again and kept it more for 15 hours to get dried up and now it is completed and ready to use yeah you can see how beautiful it does look from outside and this is how it looks beautiful from inside you can see all the beautiful designs which will be reflected when you light a candle or lamp okay so this is how it will look please do tell me in the comments below how did how did you find this video and if you did like this video friends please do like and subscribe my channel thank you for watching